we are somehow ready for a smarter world. That is what I was really saying is that there is a smarter world coming for sure. And there are many, many signs that it's practically already there. We are ready. It reminds me of, uh, we're not ready. Uh, you know what Bill Gibson said about e equality? He said, it's true that everybody is equal in the world. The only thing is some are more equal than others. Well, you know, some are more ready than others. That's the, that's the thing. Uh, in Italy, I find that they're lagging behind. They're waking up and eventually it's going to work out. But let's say that's just, you know, anybody knows that some places are better wired than others and there's, uh, you know, immigrants and natives and all that. What's interesting is rather the idea of what, how smarter and what kind of, you know, what are the tools of smartness. My feeling about big data is that it's a paradigmatic change. From the time of networks, which certainly have had a lot of attention from the world, we're now moving into big data, which is still networks, of course it is, but the emphasis now is on the database and on its incredible flexibility. Just make it, just think about it, the fact that uh, big data is almost like your mind, in, in one way at least, and many more probably, in that it is the question that's making the answer. The answer does not pre-exist the question, as in our old media, we always had, you know, a record here, a tape there, an archive here, uh, you know, whatever. Now it's like, you know, so what is that going to do? It's going to hyper, it's going to hyperventilate smartness and intelligence. Unfortunately, uh, we have a bad transition to go through. Uh, it's how do we resolve, um, what I call the digital unconscious. How do we resolve everything that's known about us and more and more is being known and goes into this big data and all this? How do we resolve the relationship between business, government, other countries? You know, there are lots of people who are interested in having our data. How do we resolve that? How do we think as we become more and more transparent? How do we, how do we protect ourselves? The digital unconscious is everything that's known about you that you don't know. It's in here and there and there in big data. How do you handle all of this? And my, my point is, if you want to get smart kids, if you want to get faster in a smarter world, there's a very simple way to do it. I call it the Jesuit 2.0. Because the Jesuits 1.0, Ignacio de Loyola and his stuff, they were there to teach kids. And they were, teach, they were making people out of these kids, persons. How did they do it? And where did they get their inspiration? From literacy from writing, from reading. They took it from the old Renaissance business, like the, the Renaissance business, they picked up this heritage of alphabet and then just made the alphabetic man. Well, it behaved, well educated, so they move on till today. What do we need? We need a new order of Jesuits, and apparently there is potential, this, even with them, a new order of Jesuits that actually use the digital culture, which is the equivalent in terms of you know, changes to the kids the way, you know, Ignacio de Loyola was teaching uh, the alphabetic culture. And that's what I think is really going to get us smarter.